I would like to share with you a green smoky eye tutorial. If you'd like to see how this is created, then keep on watching. I'm starting off by putting on a base underneath my eyes that is the color of my skin all over to even out any discoloration. And then going in with a green eyeliner pencil. This is Max Minted and I'm just applying it from the lash line up to almost to the crease area. And I'm taunting my eyes a little bit just to make sure that I'm getting the payoff of the color. And then just blending it out with my fingers. Now going in with the darkest green color from the Marc Jacobs Siren palette. You can use any other green color you have on hand that has a little bit of shimmer. I'm applying it on top of the eyeliner and then going past the liner a little bit into the crease area. And then to intensify the outer edges of the eyes, I'm applying a matte black eyeshadow. Any matte black eyeshadow will work and I'm going in the outer V and then just blending it into the crease. To give that halo effect on the middle of the eye, I'm also applying it to the inner corner area. Now with the lightest green color from the palette, I'm applying it wet using a brush right in the center of the eyes. And now with the same brush I used earlier with the black shadow, with no added product, I'm just blending in the black eyeshadow into that really light green color. And then with a clean buffing brush, I'm just buffing the edges so that there isn't any harsh lines. Now to intensify the lash line, what I'm doing is going in with a dark black eyeliner. And I'm just dotting and just giving some dashes to the lash line. It doesn't have to be very precise because I am going to smudge it out with a brush. And of course, we're going to mimic this on the outer edge of the lash line on the bottom as well. Because my eye space area is smaller, I didn't want to blow out this look too much by using a transition color and blending it out. So I'm just using a very precise brush to blend out the edges and leave it as that. And to ensure that the eyeshadow isn't exceeding the crease area, I'm going in with an eyeshadow that is my skin color and just cleaning out the edges. Today I'm going to be using the Sephora Airbrush Foundation and I'm just actually applying it on the back of my hand with a stippling brush and then applying it onto my face. I find that this way of applying it actually makes the application a lot lighter. And if you desire a more full coverage foundation look as well as an airbrushed finish, I do suggest spraying on the foundation directly onto the face. It does look really gorgeous, but today I wanted a lighter coverage. Since the eyes are pretty intense, I did want to not have too much concealer going on so I'm just applying it in the areas that I need some brightening which are the inner corner and a little bit on the under eye area but that's it and then I'm just blending it in. Now I am filling in my brows to frame my eyes as well as give the finishing touches. Yep, and 
you guessed it, now it's time for bronzer. For any smoky eye look, I like to go in with bronzer because I don't want my face to look washed out or flat due to the foundation against the intense eyes. So I'm going to go in with a bronzer to give myself a little bit more color and then going in with a contour bronzer to give myself a little bit more definition and face into my features. What I'm using here is the Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder in Medium with the Ray Morris Ultimate Cheekbone Brush. I really like this combination. It really helps chisel in those lines. And then now I'm going to contour and sculpt out a little bit of my nose just because I do want to give some more definition. As for blush today, I wanted to use the new Tory Burch Blush and Bronzer Duo. I absolutely did not like it. I don't really see like the smoothness or the color payoff, but I just wanted to try out the product. And for the highlighter, I'm using the Becca Skin Perfector in the color Moonstone. I'm applying it to the highest points of my face to give myself some glow just because this foundation does dry to a more matte finish. Now I'm going to prep my eyes for lashes and apply the lashes off camera. And for the final touches for this look, I wanted to add a little bit of highlight in the inner corner. So I'm going in with MAC Vanilla Pigment. I am so sorry, the lip portion of this video was actually cut off. What I used on my lips was the lip liner by number 7 in Nude, and on top I used the Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss in Sunbaked. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and if you want to see how I create my big hair, then like this video so I know a lot of people do want to see it and I will upload the tutorial. Alright, I will see you in my next video. Bye!